You know what happens to a person when he finds out he's going to receive a Lifetime Achievement Award? He begins to go back over that lifetime. It's a big word. He starts to rewind the tape. And that's exactly what I did. I, I went back to early beginnings when I was young, and so was television. My first venture was in 1949. It's a wild and crazy stunt show called Beat the Clock, which starred my old radio buddy, Bud Collier, who was the father of Michael Collier, who was out here a second ago. That was followed by the very elegant What's My Line, which we did in black tie, live, every Sunday night with John Daly and Arlene Francis, and Dorothy Kilgallen, Bennett Cerf and Steve Allen, plus an array of incredible mystery guests from Lucille Ball to Eleanor Roosevelt. The biggest prize was $50, and nobody jumped up and down like he did in the shows you just saw a while ago. But even back then, I found something fascinating in the challenge of new forms, which developed comedy and tensions, not from fiction, but from real life. And I enlisted other young and hungry associates who shared my enthusiasm for reality program. And together we came up with shows like I've Got a Secret and To Tell the Truth and Password and Family Feud and The Price is Right and the rest. And so it turned out I've dedicated virtually a lifetime to a genre of television which has often been underestimated and misunderstood, the game show. I have often I felt from the beginning that a well-crafted game was one of the most creative forms of television. These have been exciting years and challenging years, and I hope they've been fruitful years. I'm deeply grateful to the Television Academy for this recognition, and I trust this is a comma and not a period in my lifetime achievement. And I can't end without saluting my good friends and associates who've been at my side for so many wonderful years. Thank you for sharing my work, for sharing my dreams, and for sharing my history. Thank you. Thank you.